Okay, so um, my name is Mike Powell um, from Element 14, and uh, today we have the pleasure of, uh, of having Gert van Loo uh, here. Gert uh, is the creator and uh, innovator behind uh, the Gert board. Um, and while you're here, Gert, I just want to ask you, you know, a few questions about uh, what drives you, um, about uh, creating Gert board, uh, a little bit about yourself as well. So just can we start with yourself? So what, what are the things that that drive you, that interest you, and that, that sort of put you behind the GERT board in the first place? Uh, well, I'm Gert van Loo. I uh, work at uh, Broadcom. I'm a colleague of Eben, and that's also how we know each other. Eben Upton, yeah. And Eben Upton told me that uh, he uh, he had this idea for a very cheap board design, and he wanted to use this Broadcom chip, the BCM2835, for that. So uh, I took that as a challenge. I took uh, our existing 2835 development kits and completely cut away everything which we didn't need yeah. and in fact that was the alpha board so I was the one who designed the alpha board which we built 50 of and it's the sort of the first birth of the Raspberry Pi board. Wow so 2835 really is what the Raspberry Pi you know it, it enables all of that power doesn't it? It, it everything uh, there's okay there's another land chip for expansion but everything which the board does is in this one 2835 chip. Wow. Okay. And uh, I'm also the technical lead for that, which means it's sort of the technical question market for the hardware. Any hardware yes. questions land on my desk and yes. I have to answer those. Wow, okay. So onto the, onto the GERT board itself then, uh, you know, just what does it do? I mean, we, it's, quite, it's quite famously known now uh, on the blogs and so on. Uh, a lot of people are talking about it, but what? just tell us in, in a nutshell what, what it does for us. It, it expands the the software capability of the Raspberry Pi which you normally just see as screens, PCB, uh, keyboards, yeah. it expands it into making it connection to the outside world and it allows you to jump drive signals out to get signals in, drive motors, drive LEDs, look at switches, develop programs. So it expands it beyond the the same capabilities you have with a lot of computers about I can write programs on the screen and you want to talk to the outside world and that's what the GERT board does. It allows you to go outside the chip and, and interact with the real world there. So rather than kind of simulating things on a screen, you know, you can actually then do things in real life, control actual motors and sense levels and voltages and things like that, yes. do something with it. You can connect temperature uh, sensors to it, you can drive signals out, you can push buttons and drive motors with that. Yeah. And, um, the board was originally intended, and always been intended, for educational purposes. Yes. <clears throat> so that is the main uh, achievement, that's the main target I had in mind. What I see now, of course, the Raspberry Pi is used by quite a lot of people in other areas, and that's where it can help as well. Yes. Where it, it also protects your Raspberry Pi from external signals. If you do something stupid, the GERD board is very robust. Yes. And um, all the components on there can be easily replaced for, yes. for 20p instead of blowing up a $35 board, which you might have to take weeks again to, to get back again at the moment. You just blow up a 20p chip, which you came back the next day. Yeah, uh, very good. So, so, um, so aside from protecting the GERT, protecting the Raspberry Pi, and allowing you to get to the outside world. So, what are the practical things that people can really do with this? So, maybe some examples of perhaps what people have said they're going to do with the GERT board. Um, it was quite interesting when they put the first video on the side that uh, a lot of people have seen blinking lamps, from yes. LEDs from computers. That's not interesting anymore. But uh, I showed how I have a very heavy motor which you drive in it. And yes. I've had quite a lot of reactions about people saying, ah, I know applications for this. The best example was somebody says, oh, I'm going to now to use this to open up my, the door of my chicken scoop every morning and then close it in the evening. Yes. Things like that. It, it comes to life. It suddenly means that computers is not something you have in your living room looking at a screen. It's something which can do work for you. It can open your garage door. It can, can do make movements. It can sense temperature. It can control your, uh, your, your, your if you want to do controlling work, where you take a signal in, look at temperature, switch, after equipment on and off, that's what it allows you to do. Yes. So in terms then of um, aligning with the original missions of the Raspberry Pi Foundation, which is to kind of extend uh, and reach out to people interested in technology and give them something in their hands to, to, to go and run with, how, does the, how do you see the GERT board uh, adding to that mission? Well, as I said, it was originally intended as a, a teaching board, and so the, also the board comes with a manual and it takes you step by step with example programs of how to get I.O. onto the Raspberry Pi. It tells you how to 
light the LEDs, it yes. tells you how to read switches, how to read switch then to control the LEDs. It has examples for a motor controller, there's an uh, analog to digital converter on there which you can use for example to connect the temperature sensor. Yes. There's a digital analog converter on there which allows you to output analog signals and uh, the whole board and the whole also the, the user manual is completely set up almost as a teaching guide how do I go from computers outside and what do we have to do to, to, to achieve that, to get my LED on and off and to read my switches and from there the next step. So in the process of um, you know assembling your GERT board then, because this is available as a kit, um, one learns about the technology behind it and how it works and how you then make use of, uh, of it in its entirety. Yes, the GERT board is a kit and um, Interesting, I've had various reactions there, mostly from people saying, oh, I don't want to solder it. On the other hand, there's a lot of people saying, oh, I love to solder. Yeah. Um, I, wouldn't, I don't see that as a too big an obstacle. I'm pretty convinced that the board is very easy to solder. Yeah. We're going to give extensive manuals how to do that. Yes. Even if you don't want to solder it, um, which is a pity because electronics nowadays, if you solder the components in there, you touch each component one by one, you learn a lot from that. You get a feel for what electronics is about. But even if you don't want that, I'm pretty sure that the GERD boards kit will be sold out to people who solder them and then you can probably, for a little bit of extra money, you can buy them back on eBay ready made and tested. Indeed. Indeed. So I'm pretty sure that that will happen. Indeed. So what I see also uh, from GERD board is this um, ability to attract software engineers, uh, we see it connecting to the physical world so you can tr control devices and getting people back into the basics of electronics, putting them back in touch with electronic components, assembling boards, soldering techniques itself and so on, so the, the real basics. Yes, and the board, the kit has been designed on purpose such that um, although you need to have uh, some skills maybe in soldering, you don't need much. No. And even if you don't have the soldering skill, this board will easily get you on that first step towards electronic and entice people to say there's more than just the software, there's the hardware and there's a whole world outside there which opens up to you, yeah. which you're allowed to do things which you have never thought of before. Yeah. Well, I'm certain the GERT board will be a great success. Um, I think that the, the appeal to anybody who's bought a Raspberry Pi and who's interested uh, in electronics will, will want to, to go and buy one, buy one of these and, and work with it. So um, we, we, we hope it'll be a, a brilliant success. So, uh, GERT, thank you very much for speaking with us today. Thank you, welcome. Thank you.